Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. We have the Hierophant energy here, Taurus, Sagittarius. Oh no, that's too many. I'm gonna just look at these two. We got the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Okay, let me get something here with this. Look like somebody getting something ready to be shown. Getting something ready to, yeah, getting something ready to be shown, getting ready. We have the Moon card here something there could be someone entering a very mysterious time in their life or there could be something because i feel like this is like okay the first thing that came to mind is like imagine somebody doing push-ups before they go on stage or some shit you know what i'm saying it's something here about getting ready to be seen getting ready but somebody's hidden and you have some type of title or you're about to have some type of title or like people are not gonna know your title. Like, what is this? Let me get something here with this moon card. We got the Ace of Cups here. This is really beautiful then. This could be something on a spiritual level, like a spirit watching over you or some past one loved one watching over you or you're about to find love in a, I don't even know, a weird place or a place that you didn't see this coming or, okay, let me get something with this Ace of Cups. Because the moon card can have so many angles. Damn, we got the nine of sword though. Why the nine of sword? Wait a minute. And then we got the eight of sword. This is crazy. I'll, I'm getting the kind of energy of like something, some kind of connection that can't be avoided like i don't know i'm getting this weird energy like someone is being affected by a hidden force i'm getting that from these five cards i'm trying to see how this ties into it though because it's something here i feel like is increasing until it is seen or is something working behind the scene and it's about to come to light is something here being built something here that may need balance maybe like is something with spirit communication or sp like some oh my god this is just i feel like i'm getting there though let me get something here with this eight of sword because i feel like it's something hidden i see the moon card i see the ace of cups i immediately feel like that's a hidden soul that that's a that's a soul without a body it's something here where maybe somebody's being led down a pathway by this spirit perhaps or is something here that is tormenting somebody or it won't leave them alone or they keep they keep thinking about something and they it won't leave their mind and they feel like if they don't like do this something that like it's just weird it's giving me like even superstitious like there's someone here that has some type of title they're being nudged to do something they're being nudged to develop something and bring it to the stage or develop something and bring it to the light or develop something and then act on it they're being pushed to do that by a loved one and it literally it feels like this loved one is like i don't know if tormenting is the right word but they're really putting it on this person's heart and mind I true I'm about to scream I truly <laughs> I feel like there is a spirit that is pushing a person to do this okay let me get something here like there's truly a spirit around somebody and like they're trying to help but it's probably stressing you the hell out you're probably like why do I feel like this or why is my mind just going 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 or why am I like okay let me get something here with this eight of sword energy we have the three of pentacles i feel like they're pushing someone towards a collaboration a team or something like that they're being pushed 
let me get something here. This may be a person that may not even know that this is a spiritual force. I'm really getting a past on loved one. Someone they may have been related to definitely can be an ancestor, but I feel like it's someone closer than that. Let me get something here. And they're being pushed to do this. They feel the love of something or maybe they're being pushed towards someone because it's collaboration. They're being pushed towards someone. And then notice how I went from the two of Pentacles and then we got the three over here. It's something here. It's there. It's like, oh, my God, it's something here where they have to develop something now so it can be ready. So it can be like a confident energy like it's not confident yet or it's like giving you know how you got to practice something before you can bring it out it's that this is those two cards it's something here that has to be developed before it can be brought out so it's someone here they're being pushed this is somebody with some type of spiritual title and spirit is like if you don't get your ass up and go over there and do this it's something here like that and this person is like maybe not even understanding what's going on it's like you're OK. Something being on your heart is one thing. Something being on your mind is another thing. But like we need some fire. We need some fucking fire. That's what I'm getting here. We need some fire because it's not going to happen without the fire. The shit you can think about shit all day and it will not get done. It's something here like that. They're pushing someone towards some type of union here, some type of collaboration or working towards some type of goal. They're pushing someone to finish something. It's like urgent. I'm getting like, this is fucking urgent. Like they're about to start hitting somebody upside the head if they don't start making some decisions, making some moves and shit. We got the world card. It's something here that may have to close out also. Something here that may be left behind. It's also something about maturity. Like this is the next phase of your life or something like that maybe. What is this here? Like leaving something behind. We have the King of Cups energy, water sign energy, somebody that could be very intuitive, very loving, very giving, nurturing, perhaps. OK, someone emotionally balanced also. So it's something here about sharing the love. Three of Pentacles It's something here about sharing something, working together, collaborating, learning together. It's something here about a goal. And it's like maybe this person. Oh, my goodness. It's like it's something I feel like it scares them. Whoever this is, it scares them. It's something scary. It's like I'm going into something unknown. Should I really do this? And spirit is like, get your ass over there and do what I just said. Let me get something here. <laughs> Let me get something here with this Ace of Cups. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We have the seven of swords energy here and it's with the ace of cups. I feel like this spirit is finding ways to like get somebody's attention. This shit is not even funny. It's a little bit crazy because I feel like this is somebody that does not even believe in spirits or something like that. Like they don't believe in this and they're wondering why. Like they keep thinking about something. They keep going over something. They keep going back and forth between something. They keep having something on their mind and it's because spirit is putting this on their mind. But they're doing this in subtle ways like that shit is funny. It could be something where like you ever pass a sign, a random ass sign, and it says something that's that speaks to you. You ever been watching TV and some shit happens that has everything to do with you or what you, it's something like that. It's like something about subtle ways that this spirit is speaking to this person. But it's like they need to get with the program, especially if they are a hierophant. OK, the hierophant. Yes, they know the laws and stuff like that, but that doesn't mean they see spirits. That doesn't mean that they feel spirits. It means that they know the laws of God. That's what a real Hierophant should do. A real Hierophant is about the integrity and keeping the traditions and keeping shit, you know, like the way that God would like it to be. It's just that a lot of people don't know what that is. Let me get something here with the nine of swords energy. What is this here? And that's why this shit could be scary. We got judgment here. The judgment on the nine of swords. It really does feel like bad thing like i'm not even going to play this may not be everybody but like there is an energy of like bad things will happen if somebody does not do what they are supposed to do what it's like if somebody chooses to ignore a spirit and act like the spiritual does not exist then they're not going to be in a good position with this judgment and nine of sword it's just going to get worse and worse it's something about a calling it's something about your calling it's something about your title it's something like spirit would ask this person, like, why do you even have this title if you won't sit there and be scared with it? That's what spirit would say. OK, spirit is like, if you don't get your 
Yes, I swear to goodness, that's the energy I'm getting. I'm not even lying. Like somebody, you got either a fed up ancestor, a fed up, a fed up spirit, or somebody that like, I don't know, they're just impatient. But I feel like this person will torment somebody until they get up and do what they got to do. What is this here? And it's, I really do truly feel like this is about growing up and it doesn't have nothing to do with your age. It has nothing to do with your age. I promise you. It's something like there's different like stages that we hit in our life and we like to reduce it to our age, but it's not really your age. It's not really your age because there are certain things you could learn in your thirties that there's people learning in their fifties and sixties. It's different. It's somebody here like spirit is like, nah. And we got the tower here too. Yeah, I really do feel like if somebody makes this decision and goes, it feels something uncomfortable, something like where it's not their strong suit, but they can get stronger at it. If somebody decides to go that direction, amazing things are going to happen. But it's time, like it's time for somebody with this two of pentacles and the six of wands, like you got to get it together before it comes out. You know what I'm saying? Like before you go outside, don't you, you know, comb your hair. You know what I'm saying? It's giving that kind of energy. It's something here that got to be balanced before it is seen, before it's recognized, before it's a victory, before, oh my God, before it can really take you where you want to go. And it looked like somebody might be a little nervous about the, the behind the scenes kind of work. And it's like, don't be nervous about that shit. That's where spirit is taking you. That's where you got to go. Just go. Just do what you got to do. Spirit's going to protect you. I mean, don't rush into no shit, but just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to see the signs. We have the five of wands energy here. It's with the three of pentacles. So what is this? It could be some type of competition or being in some type of energy where you're going to make something that competes with others or y'all are or people going to come together or you're going to go towards other people. It's something here where it's definitely a collaboration and there's definitely a goal in mind. OK, and you may think. Because sometimes we be thinking one thing is our purpose in life and we be having a whole nother purpose and we get led to it in the weirdest ways. And I'm kind of getting that. I'm kind of getting like a hierophant that's like, oh, but that's not my specialty. That's not my thing. I'm kind of scared to do that. And spirit is like, if you don't get your ass over there and do what I said, okay, I swear to goodness, it's something here where like, Maybe you have something that it can compete with others or you're going to enter some type of competition and you're like, you know, I really don't want to. You know, I just can't. Don't make me do what Spirit said. Spirit said, get your ass over there. You can do it, too. You can make it. You can like, I'm telling you, somebody's scared about the shit. And it's like, no, you don't understand. This is what you're supposed to do. The scary shit, the thing that you're scared to do, but you know how to do it. That might be your calling. Let me get something here. That might be your calling. The full card with the world card. Oh my God. The first and the last major arcana. When I tell you it's time for, it's a new beginning. Like what you thought that you wasn't going to do or that I, whatever this is that you thought was not for you, but you feel it in your heart. I think it is for you. I think you got to get past whatever the fears that you have of this because spirits, like I said, they're not playing, okay? They're slapping people upside the head, okay? All night, you're not gonna be able to sleep. It's something like that where it's like, wow, if you don't do this, you might be in a really bad position and I don't wanna see nobody in that kind of position. That wouldn't make no sense, especially because I feel like somebody does have the ability here. Whatever this is, it's your calling. So it's like, how it's weird. It's kind of weird. Like imagine a great dancer being scared to dance because you know, you're just scared. Like, I don't know. Everybody got different fears. I really do feel like it's something past life, though. It's something that has to do with past life. Something hidden. Something you're dealing with in this life. We have the king of pinnacles energy here. Somebody's going to be paid. We have earth sign energy, water sign. Let me get something with this three of pinnacles. Like, you got to get it together. You got to work on it. We got the Hierophant again. You're meant to be part of some type of system. You're meant to have some type of title. You could be a teacher of some sort or be teaching something It's definitely a part of some type of institution, some type of business. OK, having some type of name is something very serious. And you may feel like it's not you, but it is. And that is so crazy. Oh, my God. That's a whole different angle. The ones that. Like, oh, my goodness, the ones that fear the things that make them shine. 
That's a different one. Let me get something here with this seven of sword energy. And we have the six of wands. The six of wands, the ones that's right here. Yeah, where something where it needs to be prepared before it is seen. Seven of sword here is something here. It's behind the scene. I don't know what kind of strategy. It feels like this energy is coming from that spirit. Look, I didn't even know it was here. I didn't even know it was here. It's coming from that spirit. It's coming from the spirit. The spirit is doing things to push you in the direction you're supposed to go to shoot so you can be ready. So you can be recognized. Oh my God, y'all. Please let this get to the right person's ears. Please let this get to the right person's ears. What is this here with this judgment? Oh Lord, something just flipped out. What was that? We have the page of wands energy. It's a new direction. It's a new direction. Somebody needs to get excited. Somebody needs to be ready. That's why it's important to be ready. Because if you ain't ready, you ain't going to be excited. Okay? You is not going to be excited if you ain't ready. What is this here with the tower card? We have the emperor. The emperor. Oh, my God. I am screaming right now. <sighs> Somebody does not even know. You don't know your whole potential. You don't know, like, how far you're supposed to go. You don't know everything and that's life we don't know everything but you do have to make decisions you do have to take chances chances you do have to prepare yourself for something you got to get ready for something here because i see it it's like wow you're going to surprise yourself spirit is literally showing you what okay we got the three of swords here though Oh, Lord, you might be dethroning somebody because, I, like I said, it's something that can compete with somebody else. It's competition. What is this here with the full card? We have the Seven of Wands energy here. Seven of Wands energy is somebody that is holding their ground. Somebody that can defend themselves. Somebody that does not back down. Somebody that they really put up a fight. It's like, I don't know if someone knows all of these things. Like, if given the right path and put in the right situations and things, it's like, I feel like someone will be 100% prepared. It's like someone has to have some type of title before they're the boss. They have to have some type of title where they had to learn the rules and keep the rules and, and, and learn important things about the system or the institution before you can be an emperor. And when you become an emperor, I feel like it's going to be because somebody else is either, you know, leaving, getting fired, quitting. It's their time is up. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's something here where like you're the one that's meant to take something over. And you don't even know it. You don't know that this is your future. You don't know. Oh, my God. I hope this gets to the right ears. I really do. I really do. What's this at the bottom? The magician. The magician. You have the power. You have the power. It's something here. Oh, my God. It's something here. You just. Ooh. You can't be scared of what's inside of you. You can't be scared of where you're going you can't be scared you have if, if you're gonna be scared this shit you still gotta go because if something here is for you you know it's for you you just have fears and those fears should not dictate your steps okay don't let fear of oh my goodness and it's something i feel like it's so beautiful that's the thing that's crazy to me it feels like it's something so beautiful and that's how i know that these fears are just unfounded there's no reason to have these fears other than because it's something from past life that you experienced because you shared some type of light. You shared something that maybe you didn't know. Like, it's like in this life, I feel like somebody's hiding it. Somebody feels more comfortable hiding it than showing it. And spirit is like, no, this life, you're going to do it again. But we got you this time. <laughs> I'm not laughing. It's not funny because it could have been something really traumatic, really traumatizing. But like, it's just funny to hold like we got you this time. It was a whole different time back in the day. OK, like whatever your past life you come from or whatever you came from, it was different. Wherever that was, it's a whole different thing. It's something here where spirit is like, no, don't be scared. We need you to do this. We need you to move forward. We need you to open up. We need you to show this. OK, we need you to use your gifts. We need you to do that. Like you're here for that. That's what I'm telling somebody. Look. All of these cards fell in my lap, and then the star is here. I'm just saying, they need you. 
It's the star. The star is the healer of humanity. Like they need somebody. You can't be scared of what it is that you got because you got it. Spirit gave it to you. So don't be scared of it. What is this here with this? Matter of fact, let me get something here. Let me get something here before I pull the angel message here. It says life source. <laughs> Come on now. Let me get something here with life source. It says it's coming. It says participate. It's like you have to step into your shit. You are some type of life source. You are what is coming. You, okay? It says hope is on the horizon. In the face of challenges, remember that nothing lasts forever. Trust that the universe has good things in store for you. That's the universe saying, we got you. We got you this time, okay? They're saying participate. Do not confuse intention with entitlement. The entitlement to demand from the world leaves you with nothing. The world is rich and so are you. It's something here you came to give, okay? Life source. And it says shine bright. Like, come on now, y'all. Come on now. It says shine bright. It's never a mistake to give of yourself. Some will take it for granted. Others will take advantage of it. Do not allow bad energies to overpower your light. That's what I've been saying. Don't let uh, fear dictate your steps. Because it's something here. It's within and it's trying to come out and look clear, cancel and release. That must be whatever mindsets, whatever that's blocking you, whatever that's stopping you, fears and all of that shit. You got to clear that. It says composure. OK, it's something here. You shouldn't fight it anymore. If you have been fighting this, you shouldn't fight it. You should just let it flow. Let it happen. Don't don't shy away from whatever this is. That spirit is literally hitting you upside of your head, telling you that this is what you're supposed to do. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.